sights. Good long kick, it's high. It's there, no problems at all. There's the man. That's uh, Coleman, the little general. The drop goal attack by Pierce, it's a long one. That's it's through, so another point to the left three, 11 points now. You see the penalty awarded to Hull. Good clean kick that time for Gary, no problem at all. Another drop goal attack by Pierce, and another one's there. The referee waves his white handkerchief to say. These two big packs come together, it's out in favour of Hull to Fletcher. Fletcher to Pierce, clear field in front of him, and he's down between the posts. The attempts at converting this one for Pierce, straight between the posts. With Pierce, is another drop, yes, it's a very long one from near the halfway line. But it's a good clean kick for Gary Pierce. These two big packs come together, out in favour of Coleman. With Pierce now, so central to pitch just outside the 25. And again, no difficulty for Gary Pierce. Again, he's really got his kicking boats on this evening, no difficulty for him there. Jackson back to Pierce. And again, another point. They intend to get anywhere this evening. Ah, it's another good clean one from Gary as the flags go in the air. Nice easy kick for Gary Pierce this time. And there, no difficulty at all. Looking for a drop goal, perhaps. And the ball's out with Pierce. Yeah, there is the drop goal. It's better to get away from that area with one point than. So they chip through. And Eastwood and Devorty chasing it, nice. Not going to get away with that, but the ball's gone loose and Devorty's on top of it! As we see the kick from Pierce. Good clean line in the hard ring, it's absolutely pouring down here. Yeah, it's a long one, it's difficult but it's there! No difficulty at all. The rain's still pouring down as Pierce puts it between the posts, no problem at all. Come again, Coleman's run. Uh, he could almost get through his own, but just hanging on the ankle. So it's back to the vaulting. Mr. Pierce chips through. Forward by number 14, it's there. Right. Back with the corner now. Pierce. Pierce to the And the Vaulting avoiding the tackle to Willby. Willby knocks off the first tackle and he's thrown for the try. Straight underneath the posts. The Craven Park follows, belting hard to put him off, but he doesn't take any notice. Another two points. Nice easy kick for him this time. Straight through, no difficulty at all. So the ball back to Coleman. Well one attempt by Pierce for a drop goal. Again, this magic drop goal manners. Put another point on the board. Long run, it's high, it's there. So Jackson. To Pierce. To Coleman. He's had to Price. Nobody to beat, he's there. Price scores. Just outside the 25. Just, what, five yards inside from the left hand side touch line. It's through, no problem at all. Nice easy attempt at converting this one for Pierce. Straight between the posts, no problem at all. Easily capable of putting these across off either foot is Gary. Time over this one, it's a difficult one. It's through again with no difficulty. Long kick for Pierce this time against the Central Park fans. No difficulty for him. It's a good clean kick. Good following here for Wigan. It's good and high and it's through. Attendance 11,000. Tim will be in 11 and John Sharp at 12. See Pierce on the ball. Little chip through. It's going to be fallen through by David Moon standing in for the injured Paul Eastwood. But Gary Pierce is through. He's there. So four point. Again, an excellent kick by Pierce. That's a call and call and long ball to Pierce. The attempt at drop. It's there, no problem at all. Good long drop goal once more from Gary Pierce. Good kick high into this east stand side. It's Pierce attempting the conversion again. He's through, no difficulty. 23 points now.
Sanai sees a kick for Pierce this time. With two points. It's Pierce can let us that one league. Final score. 35. Incredibly cold night here at Wakefield. Two points of the conversion attempt by Pierce. Nice easy kick for him. Max Pierce lines himself up for the drop. Toronto, nine points to haul. The high clean kick. So the final score from Bill. It's a long kick. It's there. Linesman confirmed that. Gary Pierce to make the conversion. Good clean kick, no problem at all. It's a long one for Pierce. It's through, no problem, Sally. Final score. You see Gary Pierce. Attempts at penalty is received from a slightly different camera angle. Straight between the fellows, no problem there. We're seeing again a penalty from Vetchler, the same position. Identical kick almost as well. Conversion by Pierce. Eyeing his target. Good long run. Powerful high kick. The linesman says yes. We see Craig Carmen in possibly his last game for the team. Well, with Pierce again, what a fantastic combination these two lads have had this season. Good clean one this time, it's there. It's a long one. It's good and high, it's clean. And the two points to the early birds. And Pierce to attempt the conversion. No problem at all for him once more. 18 points. Nice easy one. The two points on the board, so the conversion. So, 10 points now. Find it difficult as a professional. It's a good clean. It's a win lead to Pierce. Tips in the drop. Another one of these drop goals off this man's map. And they beat them in the Silk Cup Challenge Cup first round. With two points to the early birds. Time. Always difficult these diamond matches, but Pierce has got the ball. He's through. So an early try to the early bird, four points to nil. Gary Pierce, the scorer. And the conversion attempts again by Pierce. It's clean, it's there. So the ball coming off the Rovers players, another six tackles. Back with Pierce, just a nice little run around. No way he should have been allowed to get that one. There was nobody there to stop him, but there were four points to Gary Pierce. 14 points. About 15 yards out. So it's with Pierce again, who's through for his third try of the afternoon. Three tries to Gary Pierce versus Wilkinson Rovers this afternoon. Taking the points tally to 24. It's a long one. It's high. The flags are in the air. Two points are his. The final score. See the penalty. Kick by Pierce. Good one, clean one. The conversion attempt by Pierce. Flags are in the air, so eight points though. So it's coming back to Wingley. Across to Pierce. Found his gap, he's there. Excellent try, man. Certainly showing Jonathan Davis that he's not. It's out in favour of Winley this time. And he's got the open field through, he's got Pierce with him again. Easy try for Winley Pierce combination. The elation on Brian Blacker's face then. Richard Price in next, congratulating him once more. The conversion for Pierce taking the tie to 20 points. That's a jack. Final tackle, so they'll be looking to clear the line as Pierce attempts the drop. It's through, 21 points to tally now. Think to make at this time of the game. And it's 
Chance will surely with this count come back now. So chips through by Pierce, followed by Price. And Price got it touched down, the referee says yes. Port. Final tackle, tackle Price appealing for the ball. But Pierce has got it and he's down. So eight points the tally to the early birds now. Easy one for him that time. All 15 men playing this afternoon and certainly Brian Smith. It's the penalty, it's a clean kick from Pierce. Two points to Pierce again. Pierce is starting to win his own nice little dummy and he's taking them all away, he's there. Six points to nil, the score now. Another try to Gary Pierce. Just look at the size of the crowd in the Gordon Street end side of the ground there. It's really. So they've also got Pierce. It's a drop and it's through. Nine points to nil. Another two points added, so it's 11 points to nil. win was uh, expected but so all came through and won by 20 points to nine. Gary Pierce there makes no mistake with that. Well surely Coleman never retired there but all come up with the ball. Lead it inside to Gary Pierce. Still hospital uh, for concussion. And he's back here today but Gary Pierce tags the extra points off St. Drunks. That lovely set of six. Pierce there. Strikes the ball well. Yes. Slots it between the sticks. Four minutes before the half time hooter. There goes Pierce. Six. All going for a drop ball, yes. Gary Pierce. Gary Pierce. 40 yards out, centre field. Yes. Having a successful night with his kicking. Before the interval of the first half. Uh, they make it count. It's 21 points. But well, Huller still in possession. It's the last half lovely set of six. Windley. But it's Hull now moving into the right. Gary Pierce. Kick it again. Will it right? Point part in this game tonight here at the Boulevard. So Pierce with a kick and that from the golden boy of Welsh rugby union. Pierce now. A lovely left footed kick. Pierce. Flicks the ball up, oh nice ball, and he's got it, possible. This ball, Pierce kicks it long, skids, and rolls into touch. And Andrew Ettinghausen caught well up, when it could all be decided, and a drop goal. And Pierce does it again. He now makes the score, lead six, Holt. Pierce. And that's an enormous drop goal. That is an absolutely enormous drop goal. It came from some 45 yards out. Big tip.
Pearce, ex Connetly and Wales, stand off. And a good kick from Pearce. It's taken a couple of seasons for this lad to learn the game, but Mike. Pearce again, oh, that's a good sidestep. He's got support on his outside. Fletcher to O'Hara, but a good time. Five yards from the witness line. Windley to Pearce, to Devote. Devote, he's going for the line. He's in, Wallace in. It's a try. And looking for another two. Defines them. Two points, so. All square there. On the ground, first the witness supporters, then the hole. All good play by Gary Pearce comes from deep Davis that's a magnificent kick Pierce is underneath it well the two extra Metley men uh, both of them showing their skills one the kicks but I've seen uh, Gary Pierce kick many of these five minutes remaining in this first half oh looking for the lead it's a beauty no problem struck between the posts eight points to six for Hull and the tremendous effort there from Gary Pierce. 84 points now in his last six matches. Prolific point scorer, really conversing with rugby league now. It's taken him a couple of seasons, but he's really coming into the game. And the sixth tackle. Paul Hume to a fire now then. He's got some pace. Oh, but brilliantly covered by Gary Pierce. That's superb. And Gary Pierce to put to touch. You'll no doubt be uh, happy, Jonathan, to see how this lad settled down. Gary Pierce. Oh, he's done tremendously well, especially this season now. He's a real cut. And in the air. Back to Windley. To Gary Pierce. That's another good kick. Pushing him back. Courier looked to be labouring. Easy one for Gary Pierce. 18 points to 10. As soon as witness try to creep. Damn it. To Pierce now then. This is the danger. Coloto misses him. Part in this game tonight here at the Boulevard. So Pierce with a kick and uh, that's him. Oh, over that far left hand side. So he strikes it now. This Pierce. Oh, that's a good goal or so. Gary Pierce now. So the Welshman really. It's now 8-2 in the lead. Well, that's a nice break by Pierce. Did well there, did Pierce. Little kick through. Oh, that's a good kick. Oh, it's looks a try. Oh, what a bad mistake. With this goal. And he kicks it. He levels the score today. Oh, so what a goal. And the Welshman again. Pierce, the Welshman playing a play. in in defence those forwards just running a little bit taking them on and well that was a tremendous break from Hull there and we have a chance now there's a chance here oh it's a try that'll be a try for Gary Pierce. the Welsh player has sensational try until witness down the and the Pleased with his 20 points, I think, before half time. Oh, Pierce goes again, a tremendous break from the Welshman. He takes the play in score, hold 20, witness aid, and Pierce will go for the drop goal. Yes, and he goes, and that again telegraphed as far as witnesses. So, there's bound to be a few mistakes in the next 10 minutes or so. As the and Pierce will dummy, oh, that was a good break by him. Oh, there's a roar at this 
Stroud and really Fitness. Because having lost in that a shock defeat against Bradford Northern at home on Sunday, they came to the Bullyard for the points, but the spoils have gone to the full side lying in fifth position in the league. And for Dougie Lawton and the witness side, a disappointment, bitterly disappointment here at the Bullyard tonight. For that second half, they just couldn't get into the whole half. They couldn't pressurise Hull. They had to tackle, tackle, tackle. Witness, 16.